He is the season one winner of School of Chocolate and Netflix and the executive pastry chef at Four Seasons Hotel here in Chicago. Next weekend, Chef Juan Gutierrez teaming up with another celebrity chef in order yes. to bring us a tasting menu of sweet treats, chocolates from your home country of Colombia. Yes, exactly. Good morning to you. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing all right, so tell us about this event that's coming up next weekend. Yeah, so next weekend we have this amazing event which is gonna be a dessert tasting, one of a kind, never ever done in Chicago, which mm -hmm. I'm super excited and proud of. This dessert uh, tasting is gonna be all inspired by my country, which is Colombia. I really wanted to do something that represents where I'm from and tells a story of what Colombia is, what Latin America is, and a little bit of story about me and who I am as a person and as a chef. So mm -hmm. I'm super excited for people to really see and discover so many ingredients and techniques that people they even haven't even discovered yet. You love talking about your home country. You just got back from a trip there over the last month or so. Talk about what inspired you to bring this to Chicago? Yeah, so after winning School of Chocolate, I've been really lucky enough to be traveling around the world. Yeah. And one of the places that I've been going through a lot is Latin America. And I'm from Latin America, and I really wanted to make sure that I can keep that traditions and keep that uh, inspiration coming up. And what better way to bring all of, that, all of that culture, all of those techniques and flavors back to my country, right. which is my home, which is now US and Chicago right. to the Four Seasons Chicago. So this is what I want to do. And we have amazing ingredients. Um, for example, we have Milo, something that I grew up with all the time, which is malted milk. We're going to be using it in one of our desserts. We have piloncillo, which is a sugar that we use in Colombia. A lot of we call it panela. Mm -hmm. uh, solteritas. Solteritas is a really traditional um, street food dessert that okay. we have there and then we just have with pastry cream and some condensed milk okay. but then we are really elevating this dessert sure. into something super fun and I can't wait for people to see. Uh, one of a really exciting dessert that we have is gelatina de pata. Gelatina de pata is um, we grab the collagen of bone marrow okay. and then we make marshmallow out of it. And it's, trust me, it's it's good. Uh, it's good. It's delicious. Sounds weird. If you add sugar yeah. to it, I mean, everything's exactly. good, right? Sounds weird, but it's actually delicious. And we're making a really good, um, we call it bizcocho de novia, which is kind of like a um, fruit cake, and mm -hmm. it's a really good dessert. But one of the desserts that I'm really excited the most is this one over here, which uh, okay. I call it. This is Colombia. For me, and for everyone this one that we, yeah, this one over here in All the right. bowl. When we think of Colombia. Um, I, for me, the first thing is the, the beauty of the rainforest, how much green there is, how much amazing nature and beautiful right. um, rainforest is going to be there. So I really wanted to incorporate something really natural in this dessert. So let's take that shot from above really quick. Yeah. And take us through what we see here, because I don't recognize a lot of what's in this bowl. Yes. So this is a really, really traditional dessert. Uh, so we have on the side, on the cake, is going to be a pistachio and mambe cake. Okay. Mambe eats um, roasted coco li coca leaf um, flour. Mm -hmm. So I really wanted to showcase an ingredient that has a lot of connotation, like a lot of history. Right. But there's a really good history into it, which is all the natural, where it comes from um, the native Colombians, and how can we really use it in such a great way, which is health, um, our skin and everything, which has also a really good flavor. Imagine like uh, in Argentina where they drink the mate, same way here. All right. So we have a um, um, mambe cake, we're gonna have a mambe cremeux. We have a Milo, which is what I was telling you guys at the beginning, Milo, cream, uh, Milo sure. mousse, and then Milo ice cream. Very nice. It's interesting, because you bring all these flavors to Chicago. Chicago obviously has a rich tradition, not only of food, but also of desserts, a lot of chocolate factories here yes. in the city. Uh, and you've been able to meld that yeah. and kind of marry the two, uh, the two cultures into one. True, I mean, it's really fun and really strong and hard to kind of like break down out of the um, yeah the way of be what people right. think <laughs> what people what expect food is. when it comes exactly. to exactly yeah. so i'm really excited for this menu because it's going to be a really way, way, great way to showcase something completely different. What time does it start? It starts at 5 p.m. on Sunday, the 31st. All right, so here's the information. If you'd like yeah. uh, more information or to get some tickets, you can go to adornrestaurant.com to buy your tickets. You can also find some links on Chef Juan's social media as well, as well as the Four Seasons Hotel social media. Uh, this is going to be lasting for a couple of hours, yes? Correct. Spending some yes. time with celebrity chefs. I don't know what else could be better, Gaynor.